Storm Trucker weather starts now with Chief Meteorologist Ryan Dennis. Welcome back everyone. The big story today has definitely been the wind at Deep Creek in Glacier County. We had a wind gust of 87 miles per hour earlier today and Cup Bank 75 miles per hour was the peak wind gust so far today. Browning 71 miles per hour, Cascade 63 miles per hour, Fort Benton 62 miles per hour and then in Great Falls, we had a peak wind gust of 54 miles per hour earlier today, and in Loma, a peak wind gust of 52 miles per hour. So definitely some strong winds around during the day today. And we're still dealing with gusty winds right now. Sustained wind speeds currently between 10 and 30 miles per hour. This wind is coming out of the west southwest in most locations. For the Rocky Mountain front, there is still a high wind warning in effect for the next couple of minutes, but that will expire at 6 p.m. We also have a high wind warning in effect for Cascade County, Judith Basin County, the Highwood Mountains, and the Little Belt Mountains until 6 a.m. on Friday. Could see some gusts up to 60 miles per hour in these areas this evening, as well as overnight tonight. Now, as we go through tonight and into tomorrow, we are going to continue to have gusty to strong winds around. Sustained wind speeds are going to be between 10 and 30 miles per hour in a lot of locations and wind gusts over 40 miles per hour are going to be possible at times. For tonight, that wind is going to be coming out of the west southwest in most spots. And then for tomorrow, that wind is going to be coming out of the west in most locations. Going through tomorrow evening and into tomorrow night, that wind is going to diminish and then we're going to get a break from the wind as we head into Saturday. As in most locations, there is just going to be a light breeze around throughout the day, but then the wind will start to pick back up as we head into Sunday as a cold front works its way through our area. Now on the Opportunity Bank ICANN, we have had mostly cloudy skies throughout the day today, and there has been some precipitation around today along and west of the Continental Divide. Most of us east of the Divide have been dry, and a disturbance is going to be working its way through our area as we go through tonight and into tomorrow. Not expecting a lot of precipitation with that disturbance, but a few scattered sun showers are going to be possible, especially in the higher elevations. As we take a look at Feet's track, again, there will be a few snow showers around tonight, especially in the mountains. We're also going to have partly cloudy to mostly clear skies overnight tonight. For tomorrow, we are going to have partly cloudy skies throughout the day. We are going to have a chance to see a few snow showers, especially during the afternoon and the evening. And once again, the higher elevations have the best chance to see that precipitation. Heading into tomorrow night, the snow showers will taper off and we'll have partly cloudy skies. And then during the day on Saturday, we are going to have partly to mostly cloudy skies throughout the day and a couple of snow showers are possible in the mountains but most of us will be dry. There is also a winter weather advisory in effect for the Glacier National Park area. This is in effect until 8 p.m. on Friday. Blowing and drifting snow is going to be a huge issue in this area. We're also going to receive one to nine inches of new snow accumulation tonight and tomorrow with the high snow mounts occurring above past level. Tonight, lows are going to be in the mid to upper teens and low to mid 20s. Tomorrow, cooler than it was today with highs in the mid to upper 20s and low to mid 30s. It remains cool on Saturday and then there will be scattered areas of snow around on Sunday and Monday and it will be colder with highs in the 20s. Temperatures warm back up into the lower 30s for the middle and end of next week. In Great Falls, breezy tomorrow and a little bit cooler and then some snow around on Sunday and Monday.